Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of RobertoBlake.com geeking out with you today over some new awesome gear that I'm happy to introduce to the channel. So our friends over at Dell reached out to me and they wanted to send me something really cool and new to review with you guys. And they sent me the Dell XPS 13 Ultrabook and I'm gonna show it off for you guys here on the channel now. So the Dell XPS 13 is actually pretty awesome and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm gonna be using it for. Some of you actually might remember that I've been doing a lot more public speaking and travel lately. Uh, so that is something that has been a struggle for me because my Asus laptop is pretty freaking heavy when I have to combine that with all of my camera gear and the stuff that I use when I'm on the go. So having an Ultrabook just made sense. Now I was thinking about a MacBook Air 13 inch or a MacBook Air 11 inch, but ultimately the things I'd never liked about those laptops, especially as a graphic designer and a photographer, were that if I got the 11 inch, I sacrifice an SD slot, I sacrifice power, there's just so many bottlenecks there, but it's a better form factor. On the other hand, if I get the bigger screen with the 13 inch, I do get the SD card slot, but then I'm also getting some of the added weight. There was just so many things that I had to consider, including the aspect ratio of the 13 inch not really being comfortable for viewing video. So what I wanted was a laptop that didn't have any compromises. I was probably gonna end up settling for one or the other, but now I don't have to. Fortunately, Dell wanted to have somebody take a good hard look at this laptop that's actually doing work in the real world on the go. I'm doing video editing, I'm doing photo editing, I might have to do graphic design work. And while I typically would use a 15 inch laptop for those things because of my eyes, having a 4K, yeah, a 4K or at least a near 4K display on an Ultrabook, that makes it a little easier to do that kind of work on the go, especially for me when I don't wanna wear my glasses. So this laptop means not compromising for me, which is great. It also means that I can still do all of my presentation stuff on stage and have a really great Ultrabook that is totally powerful and is not gonna lag and is capable of doing that because this has 16 gigs. You may not need that much, but I kinda do. And it has an i7 processor, so I've got quad core. That's why I can do things like Corel Video Editor here, I can use the Adobe apps, and it still can actually be the brainchild of my business. So that just gives you some perspective on how I've been using it. What's the user experience been like? Well, it is using Windows 10, and it does have a touchscreen Gorilla Glass display, which is actually really cool when you think about it and it weighs about 2.7 pounds. So it's comparable to the 13 inch MacBook Air when it comes to weight, but it's packing a lot of power. It's packing more power than any of the MacBook Airs ever could, and it crushes them on the specs. This has like a one terabyte SSD, 16 gigs of RAM, and it has the 4K display, what else? i7 Skylake processors from Intel. So I'm really happy with this. One of the big major points for me though, was the battery life. I liked the idea of having an Ultrabook with a lot of battery life, and we know that previously the MacBook Air was dominating the battery life game, but this particular laptop, the XPS 13, is actually very competitive there. Now, my particular model, you're gonna get like 12 hours of native battery life out of this, but with some of the other models, you can get like 18. They also sent me the Dell Power Companion, and what that lets me do is it lets me get another 10 hours of battery life out of this, and it will also charge some of my other USB devices. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna have a full review and breakdown for you guys, but so far, so good with using this. This is the new field commander in the army of awesome, the little nickname that I have for the gear that I use here. So, I mean, I'm really enjoying this and it's actually making a real impact for my business. I find that being able to go out and work in the real world is gonna be easier, travel's gonna be easier. I actually did a photo shoot where I took this and it was just so convenient to throw this into my think tank photo bag and just go out the door and not feel like it was killing my shoulder. So yeah, all of those things matter to me. Now while Dell sent this over, these are my opinions. And the thing is, there are little things that I'm not thrilled with about the laptop, but it is one of those things where it's like the overwhelming majority of the good features completely outweigh that and I'm really happy with it so far. I really don't think that I need a MacBook Air now unless I just want to review one or I want to compare them, but the reality is I do feel like this would just crush it, and so maybe we'll do that. Or maybe one of my friends that has a MacBook Air will want to come on the channel, we'll do a like collab or something like that, and we'll talk about it. But anyway, this is a great Ultrabook if you're somebody who is into PCs or doesn't care about Mac versus PC and you want something on the go that has 
power, productivity, and no compromises, this might be for you. I'm going to be taking this on the road with me when I go speak at How Design Live in Atlanta, which is like the biggest design conference in the world. And now I can comfortably know that if a client needs me to do something last minute while I'm on the road, or I decide that I want to do the video editing from shooting interviews while I'm there, I can just do it right here from this laptop, edit my podcast, whatever I want to do. I know that I have more than enough power to do it. Or if I just want to kick back and watch some videos and relax for a change, yeah, I should do that more often, then I actually can do it and watch it on a 4K display. So that's pretty awesome in my opinion. So anyway, look forward to the full review. Uh, thanks again to our friends at Dell for sending this over. This was tremendous and I can't wait to really get into like the hardcore stuff with you guys. And I actually might do a real world review of like what the rendering capabilities are for this for video ending because I know some of you are curious about that. Anyway, I have links for this laptop in different configurations and also some of the accessories that I'm using with it that Dell sent over. So you can check those out in the description. Remember, Amazon affiliate links support the channel and the content that I'm doing here. So just make sure you're using those. If you have questions about picking an ultra book for whatever you're doing, uh, go ahead and leave those in the comment section. I'll try and answer as many of them as I can. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so very much for watching and geeking out with me over the new Dell XPS 13 Ultrabook.